duties. Ron DeSantis sworn in as Florida's 46th governor. All I can promise is the sweat off my brow, a full heart, my best judgment, and the courage of my convictions. With promises to keep taxes low, stand firm on immigration, and make schools the priority, Governor DeSantis spoke to a crowd of hundreds and is met with applause. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. DeSantis plans to take swift action in the next week on a number of issues. He will appoint the first of three new Supreme Court justices tomorrow. He's also expected to announce a major environmental policy and proposals and he'll visit the communities devastated by Hurricane Michael last October. One month before the election, a ferocious storm tore through parts of Northwest Florida. Hurricane Michael brought widespread destruction, but it did not destroy the resilience and resolve of the people of Northwest Florida. To the communities impacted, we will stand with you to rebuild your communities stronger than before. Ken and Mary are joining us live from Tallahassee. They were there for the oath of office and for the governor's speech, and they've been getting new reaction throughout the day. Ken and Mary. Tom, his address was direct and to the point on a number of issues, education, the environment, and then the Supreme Court figured most prominently. Yeah, and immediately following that swearing in ceremony at noon, wrapped up about 1230 today, members of the cabinet held some open house hours inside the Capitol building and immediately went upstairs. And the governor made a spoken and a symbolic gesture to show the Florida legislature how closely he wants to work with them during his term. In the space between the House and Senate chambers in the state's capital, new leadership announced a new beginning. We will do great things for the state of Florida. So please join me in welcoming our governor, Ron DeSantis. On his first day as governor and just an hour after his swearing in ceremony, Ron DeSantis greeted members of the Florida legislature with stories of his service as a federal lawmaker. I mentioned uh, in my speech that uh, I am a recovering U.S. congressman and uh, that means that I have uh, uh, experience in the legislative branch. The governor said at the federal level, Congress had become weak, not exercising authority. He told these lawmakers he doesn't want it that way in Florida, and legislative leaders say he won't have to worry about that. I'm somebody that thinks our government is better uh, when the legislative branch is exercising the authority that it was granted under the Constitution. I think that's true in the federal government. I think that's true here. On behalf of the entire Florida House of Representatives, we congratulate you on becoming our governor. We thank you and we want to let you know that we weren't uh, encouraged by your bold remarks today. And so I toast to 2019, the beginning of a new era. And plenty of optimism spoken in the room. And for those who are not optimistic, they're keeping it close to the vest mm -hmm. right now. Governor DeSantis says he wants everyone prepared because starting tomorrow morning, he hits the ground running and gets into action. And tonight at 6, we're going to have reaction from some of the people who are here watching, of course, at the inauguration. And then we understand that after all of this happened this afternoon, they went off to the governor's mansion and they had a baptism for little seven-month-old Mason, their little boy, who hadn't been able to be baptized until now because of the, they were a little busy with the campaign. <laughs> How about that? It's yeah. a great way to wrap the day. Tom?